Now moving on to the seventh bit of fifth problem. He has asked us to prove that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta. In order to prove this, let us consider the left hand side that is sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta that is equal to in the numerator let us take sin theta common then we get the numerator as sin theta into 1 minus 2 sin square theta divided by in the denominator let us take cos theta as common then we get the denominator as cos theta into 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is equal to if we write sin theta by cos theta separately then it is nothing but tan theta into 1 minus 2 into here we have an identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 which implies sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta let us substitute it here then we get 2 times 1 minus cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 and minus 2 times 2 square cos theta is plus 2 cos square theta divided by 2 cos square theta minus 1 which will be equal to tan theta times here by rearranging the terms we get 2 cos square theta minus 1 by 2 cos square theta minus 1 here in the numerator and denominator we have 2 cos square theta minus 1 as common which will be cancelled and finally we are left out with tan theta which is our right hand side so here as LHS is equal to RHS we can say that sin theta minus 2 sin cube theta whole divided by 2 cos cube theta minus cos theta is equal to tan theta now moving on to the ninth bit of fifth problem he has asked us to prove that cosecant a minus sin a into secant a minus cos a is equal to 1 by tan a plus cot a in order to prove this let us initially consider the left hand side that is cosecant a minus sin a into secant a minus cos a which is equal to here cosecant a can be written as 1 by sin a minus sin a into secant a can be written as 1 by cos a minus cos a which is equal to let us take here LCM as sin a then it becomes 1 minus sin square a in the numerator and if we take cos a as denominator in the second term then it becomes 1 minus cos square a in the numerator so all that will be equal to we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 from which we can say that 1 minus sin square a is nothing but cos square a into 1 minus cos square a is nothing but sin square a whole divided by sin a into cos a here if we observe numerator and denominator clearly sin a cos a gets cancels and it divides numerator in cos a into sin a times so finally we got the simplified form of LHS as cos a into sin a let us also find the simplified form of RHS on right hand side that is 1 by tan a plus 
cot a which is equal to 1 by tan a can be written as sin a by cos a plus cot a can be written as cos a by sin a which is equal to 1 by let us take here LCM as cos a into sin a then we get the numerator here as sin square a plus cos square a as we know from the identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 and by sending this denominator to top it becomes cos a into sin a which is the simplified form of RHS. Here the simplified form of left hand side is equal to the simplified form of right hand side. So the given equation is true. Now moving on to the 8th bit of 5th problem. Let us find the solution for this. Here he has given an equation that is sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square is equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. In order to prove this, let us initially consider the left hand side. That is sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square which is equal to this is in the form of a plus b whole square and this is also in the form of a plus b whole square let us apply the formula that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab then we get here sin square a plus cosecant square a plus 2 sin a into cosecant a here this can be written as cos square a plus secant square a plus 2 times cos a into secant a that is equal to let us write sin square a and cos square a together plus cosecant square a plus secant square a together plus here 2 times sin a times cos a is nothing but 2 as sin a into cosecant a is 2 plus similarly 2 times cos a into secant a is equal to 2 as cos a into secant a is nothing but 1 so finally here as we know from the identity 1 that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 by replacing it we get 1 plus 2 plus 2 that is 5 plus cosecant square a plus secant square a which is equal to 5 plus from the two identities that cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a and secant square a is equal to 1 plus tan square a by substituting it here we get the expression in terms of tan square a and cot square a that is cosecant square a can be replaced by 1 plus cot square a plus secant square a can be replaced by 1 plus tan square a that will be equal to 5 plus 1 plus 1 is nothing but 7 plus cot square a plus tan square a which is nothing but our right hand side so here we got LHS is equal to RHS and hence we proved that sin a plus cosecant a whole square plus cos a plus secant a whole square is equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. Moving on to the fourth bit of the fifth question. Here he has given an equality of two expressions that is 1 plus secant a by secant a is equal to sin square a by 1 minus cos a. So let us move on to the solution. As he asked us to prove the equality, let us consider the left hand side.
and simplify it then right hand side and then simplify it if they are equal then the equality is right so in the left hand side the given expression is 1 by secant a whole divided by secant a that will be equal to 1 plus secant a can be written as 1 by cos a whole divided by secant a here also can be written as 1 by cos a which is equal to let us take cos a as LCM in the numerator then we get cos a plus 1 in the numerator divided by cos a whole divided by 1 by cos a here in the denominator of the numerator we have cos a as common so these two will be cancelled and finally we are just left out with cos a plus 1 which can be written as 1 plus cos a so here the simplified form of left hand side is 1 plus cos a similarly let us also simplify right hand side that is sin square a whole divided by 1 minus cos a which is equal to here we have an identity that sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos square a so by replacing sin square a as 1 minus cos square a divided by 1 minus cos a that is equal to here this can be written as 1 square minus cos square a which is in the form of a square minus b square that can be written as a minus b that is 1 minus cos a into a plus b that is 1 plus cos a whole divided by 1 minus cos a here in the numerator and denominator we have 1 minus cos a as common and that will be cancelled and finally we are left out with 1 plus cos a so the simplified form of LHS is equal to the simplified form of RHS so the equality 1 plus secant a by secant a is equal to sin square a by 1 minus cos a is correct now moving on to the fifth bit of fifth version he has given to prove the equality of cos a minus sin a plus 1 by cos a plus sin a minus 1 is equal to cosecant a plus cot a using the identity cosecant a is equal to 1 plus cot a now moving on to the solution let us consider the left hand side that is cos a minus sin a plus 1 divided by cos a plus sin a minus 1 as here he asked us to prove the equality using identity cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cot square a let us convert the given expression in terms of cosecant and cot a in order to do that divide both numerator and denominator by sin a then we get the expression as cos a by sin a minus sin a by sin a plus 1 by sin a whole divided by cos a by sin a plus sin a by sin a minus 1 by sin a which is equal to cos a by sin a is nothing but cot a minus sin a by sin a is 1 plus 1 by sin a is nothing but cosecant a whole divided by cos a by sin a is again cot a plus sin a by sin a is nothing but 1 minus 1 by sin a is nothing but cosecant a so the expression will be equal to cot a plus cosecant a minus 1 by cot a 
minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to as he asked us to use the identity that cosecant square theta is equal to 1 plus cos square theta or cosecant square a is equal to 1 plus cos square a let us replace 1 by cosecant square a minus cot square a that is equal to cot a plus cosecant a minus 1 we shall replace by cosecant square a minus cot square a whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to cot a plus cosecant a let it be in one bracket minus this is in the form of a square minus b square that can be written as a plus b into a minus b whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 which is equal to let us take here common as cot a plus cosecant a whole of 1 minus here we will be left out with cosecant a minus cot a whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 that will be equal to cot a plus cosecant a remains at z is and this expression can be written as 1 minus cosecant a and minus into minus is plus here and by rearranging term we can write it as cot a plus that is cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 whole divided by cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 here cot a minus cosecant a plus 1 is common in both numerator and denominator that will be cancelled so finally we are left out with cot a plus cosecant a which is nothing but our right hand side as LHS is equal to RHS, we proved the equality.